Hello YouTube, today we're doing a sample problem using phaser form. Uh, it involves finding the power and the average power delivered by the voltage source, excuse me, the power factor and the average power. So take a look at this example. I uh, redrew the circuit here. Whoop, here. Uh, remember we're given uh, IS of T here. And remember when we deal with circuits we need to express the sinusoidal alternating current as a cosine. So to do that, we know the relationship between sine and cosine is there's just a difference of a phase shift of 90 degrees. So we subtract the 90 degrees from sine to get the cosine version. Uh, real quick, the given is uh, 2, uh, omega is 2 radians per second because the coefficient in front of the t is omega, and omega is the f uh, frequency of the circuit there for the current source. So as I was saying before, you simply subtract 90 degrees um, to get the cosine form. We also can write that in phasor form, which I reviewed in a previous video called Basic um, Derivation of Waveform and Phasor Form. Um, and we, I'm going to write this as one angle negative 90 degrees, and then as a shorthand notation. And then we also have the voltage, which was given, and we could also convert that into cosine, so we take the magnitude, and then um, I'm, I skipped the first step, and, or the cosine step and then convert that into phasor form as well. It's the same thing, it's just a, with a 12 in front. Now, this can be represented on the real and imaginary axis if you draw this, uh, you know, this polar form here. Now, if you notice, the degree angle is negative 90 degrees, and there's no real part, so it's all imaginary, so it's just pointing straight down, um, and that's how we get this. Uh, we can rewrite the circuit then in imaginary, cord or imaginary form as well as just negative j, because what? Negative... 90 degrees, and then we also have negative 12j because the magnitude there is 12 instead of 1. So uh, let's look at the impedance real quick. Let's go back to the circuit. We're going to try to find i bar at the top there. But we need to find the impedance of the two components we have. We have an inductor and a capacitor in parallel. So let's look at, oh, that should be a, wow. I think I screwed something up. Okay, caught my mistake. So that drawing there in black of the circuit, that should not be like curly, it should be jagged like a resistor that is not an inductor, that's a resistor, so the calculation's right, but the picture is there is a little wrong. Because uh, look, that's a resistor, not an inductor. Okay, uh, so the impedance of a resistor is just the resistance, uh, since the impedance is like resistance, and that would just be 3 ohms. The impedance of a capacitor is the relationship is 1 over j omega c, and c is 1 over 16 farads, and 1 over 1 over 1 over 16 is uh, times 2, which omega is 2, would just give you 4, so negative 4j uh, as well. <laughs> so then, from there, we go, we use nodal analysis, and we look at that node in the center there, um, between the 3 ohms and the 1 16th farads, and we use KCL, so what's going into the node is negative, so we have negative I bar, plus uh, positive is what's leaving, so let's look at the 3 ohms there, so we have, since this is nodal analysis, we need the current, so current is, by Ohm's law, I is V over R, so V, or, yeah, V over R, so we have negative J, uh, 12, times 12 over 3 ohms, and then we have the impedance over uh, 4, negative 4J as well. So the negative 12J came from the voltage. Remember, we found that on the right over there, V of T is negative 12J written in red. And then uh, the R, in this case, is the impedance, uh, which is just 3 and on for that part. And then we're looking at the capacitor, which would be negative 4J, which we just calculated. And then we have the end, the current source over there. Remember, we just calculated on the upper right there that the current source is represented by negative J. And since it's leaving, or it's entering, since the current, it's entering that node, it's a subtraction. And then all that's equal to zero uh, using nodal analysis. So we simplify, right? And then we get this expression here, 3 minus 3j. Three now you can write that in a, its imaginary and real coordinate form. And you would notice that the real part is 3, the imaginary is negative 3 on the axis. So you draw that line there, that phasor and you find what the angle theta is, since you notice that the sides are the same, you know the angle is 45 degrees, but since it's down, it's negative, and then calculate the magnitude using Pythagorean theorem, or your 45, 45, 90 triangle, and you get 3 radical 2. 
So we can rewrite that using our phase reform shorthand notation of 3 radical 2 angle 45, negative 45 degrees. And bam, that's what we got so far. Let's do a recap. We got I bar, we got V bar. These are what we calculated from the previous page. And we're recalling that phi is simply the subtraction of the angle of I bar and the angle of V bar. Uh, remember, it's subtraction because the shorthand notation is e to the j theta. And when you, subtract x, or when you divide exponents, you're subtracting um, the uh, values in the exponent. So we get negative 45 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is just 45 degrees. It's positive, so phi is 45. And we remember we were asked to find, find the average power from the source and the power factor. So this is the formula for average power. Uh, and the, we have the magnitude of the voltage and the current times one-half times cosine phi. And remember, cosine phi is that power factor, so that's what it's also looking for. So why don't we solve for that first? So power factor is simply cosine phi. We figured out phi was 45 degrees, so therefore power factor is 0 0.707. Then we simply use over here, um, we have I bar and V bar, and the magnitude of I bar and V bar is simply the coefficient in front of the angle of the phasor there. So we got 3 radical 2 and 12, so that means we got... 12 and 3 radical 2 there, respectively, and times cosine 45, do your math, and get power is equal to 18 watts. And that's the problem for you. Hope it helped, and happy studying.